covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. You may remember the Pocophone F1. Now the Poco F2 Pro has launched complete with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 and impressive 8K video recording. The Pocophone F1 was a rare beast and an, an actual example of a flagship killer. Now, almost two years later, it's finally time for an upgrade. The Poco brand began as a sub-brand of Chinese phone manufacturer, Xiaomi. But with the success of the F1, it was decided that it could stand on its own, and they broke it out into its own independent company based in India. Following the F1, they rebranded the mid-range Redmi K30, calling it the Poco X2. Now the new F2 model is essentially a rebranded K30 Pro. The Poco F2 Pro brings a long list of improvements compared to the F1, starting with the latest chipset. The Snapdragon 865 is the best chip from Qualcomm yet, and one of the first to feature GPU drivers that can be updated, which might improve the phone's longevity. A lot of emphasis was placed on the liquid-cooled 2.0 tech, with a vapor chamber that in itself is larger than competing phones. Poco says this will enable more efficient cooling. The F2 Pro runs Android 10 out of the box with Poco Launcher 2.0. Dark mode is available, which looks gorgeous on the upgraded AMOLED screen. Storage now starts at 128 gigabytes. There's also a 256 gigabytes option, which we'd recommend since they've removed the microSD slot, and the 8K video can eat up a lot of space. The storage is fast, UF, UFS 3.1, up from 2.1 on the F1. The new camera on the, on the Poco F2 Pro may be what pushes die-hard Pocophone F1 fans to upgrade. The phone has four rear-facing camera sensors. The setup includes a 64 megapixel pixel Sony IMX686 sensor. It supports three-time optical, optical zoom as well as dual optical image stabilization. There's also a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, an 8 pixel mega, uh, an 8 megapixel telemac, telemac, this is a tongue twister, an 8 megapixel telemacro camera, and a 5 megapixel sensor. For selfies, you get a 20 megapixel camera on a motorized pop up mechanism capable of just a 1080p video. That's the one thing we'd really like to see improved for vloggers who are forced to use the rear cameras if they want to shoot in 4K or 8K Ultra HD. Speaking of Ultra HD, the more powerful chipset enables 8K recording at the full 30 FPS and 4K videos can now be recorded at 60 FPS. The switch to AMOLED also let, uh, allowed the fingerprints reader to be hidden in the screen. The screen refreshes at a standard 60 Hz but the touch sampling rate has been increased to 180 Hz. The Poco F2 also has Widevine L1 certification, so it can play HD content from Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, and other services. The capacity of the battery has increased to a 4700 mAh with faster 30 watt charging, and a headphone jack is still included. The Poco F2 is available now through our partners. Head over to cat5.tv slash f2 to check it out.